good morning everybody we are just coming down to have breakfast we are very tired as i said in my previous vlog we had to get up we got back at like 2 a.m and had we've just got up at, um at 7 a.m 7 a.m so we've only had like five hours sleep quickly grabbing some breakfast it's half seven and then we've got to go check out and get our taxi for a train to the cruise port it's gonna be a busy day traveling again but um yeah let's get started let's get on with it <laughs> We were there on a, on a yeah, because they were up by the. Um... Let's go on the cruise! Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah. It'll be coming from this way. Yeah. That's why you should try to get rid of it. It is possible to visit the website. We've got off the train, so we got the train from um, straight from Verona to Trieste, which is where we are now, and we're just going to walk to the port. Now I think it should be about 10 minute walk, but we will wait and see. Um, it's quite hot, so wish us luck. Mum's behind us talking to some American. It is quite hot, but it's not as hot as yesterday, and uh, hair's a little bit everywhere. But I'm just extremely extremely excited to go on this cruise after waiting for two years um verona is amazing like i love verona and it was nice to stay there for a few days but i'm ready for just a relaxed holiday where i can sit by a pool and enjoy like a cocktail so we're going on the norwegian gem um when i went in 2015 we went on the norwegian jade so this is the sister ship it's about two and a half thousand passengers, but it's because of COVID, it's only at 60% capacity. Stop laughing at me when I vlog. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully, because I saw a video ages ago that it was really long queues. So I'm actually hoping because we booked a time slot that it shouldn't be too long to actually get on. Okay, you can see it a little bit better now, but there we go, there's Norwegian gem. So I'm guessing it's just a little bit further on and then we'll get on. Now, because I haven't been on one since pre-COVID, I don't know whether things have changed. But um, yeah, we'll find out. But I'm not walking to any pillars. Um, yeah, we're all just very, very, very excited. Finn, stop laughing at me. <laughs> What's the chance of me jumping in the water, right jumping in the water or swimming to the ship? Odds on. Odds on. One to fifty. Three, two, one. Take one. Sixty-one. Not between one and fifty. <laughs> okay, right. Let's try again. One to fifty, then. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. one to Forty-two. Ha. Oh, not far off. Ha ha ha. We've got our passes. So these are the passes you get, which can get you the drinks and everything like that. Everyone's got them, but Alex has got a special colour. And so is mum. Yeah, We've got through security absolutely fine. We didn't have to queue for a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. We're just going to go now and get on the ship. We have to wear FFP2 masks, which is what this is, but it's very, very hot. So let's go get on the ship. So that is Trieste Port. Mum, you can take your mask off. You can take your mask off. Can I? Yeah. So just inside, you got Just inside. So we don't have to wear it on in. She said we can take them off. <sighs> we just had our safety briefing, so it's changed a little bit from the last cruise we went on. So usually they do a big, big one, um, but this one you can't. They schedule cards to activate it, and then they go and um, yeah, they do a small little briefing, which is I think is better because you can obviously get in, and you don't have to do it later on in the ship. So now we're actually going to go get a drink. And then, yeah, enjoy it. I think everyone's a bit keen to get a drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go, let's get a drink. So I'm guessing this is the atrium. Let's get a drink. Um, we're gonna go find some food. So I think we're gonna check out the buffet. Very excited. Um, I missed a good old buffet because I can't eat certain things. It's great to choose and pick what I can eat. So yeah, we're gonna go find some food. And then 
then probably explore the rest of the ship. Uh, right, so deck 12. Is it deck 12? Deck 12, the Garden Cafe. Should we walk or... It's a, a lot of flights and drink. Yeah. Let's just go with in the elevator. We've got two to choose from. Ah, uh, you can tell Alex has had a drink. Let's yeah. go. Um, so we've gone into the video arcade which is just as you come out the elevator. So... Let's... Ah, uh, we found some ducks. So the running joke is Pat likes ducks. Or doesn't like ducks. So anyway, here's the arcade. A few games in here. It's not too big. But that's on deck 12. So there's also in there an entourage which is Teens Club and then the Splash Academy which I'm guessing is for 5 to, 5 to 12. So let's go find food because I'm actually quite hungry because I had no breakfast. We got up so early. Here it is. Here's the Garden Cafe. So... So 12 to one thirty. As you go through here, so deck 12. Oh, I like the pink on there. And here is the pool deck. Oh, look at the sun. Oh, look at this. This is my kind of... We've got the pool. Oh, Cohen Alex is our new tour guide. We've got jacuzzis here. Pool. Oh, it's so hot. Wow. And then you've got a deck up there as well, but my gosh, is it hot? And then another bar here, which is like, looks like called Hang Ten, or I think it's like a tiki bar. Yeah, great, great thing. Yeah. Right, we'll walk up here. Let's go down here to so all the sunbirds where I will be lounging and getting a big fat tan. Finn's laughing because see, I won't get a good tan as him. Mr. Farmer, you. Look at that! Ah, <laughs> oh, so here down here is more like the rock climbing wall and oh, there's a driving bit range there, Finn all like that. Down here there's a rock climbing wall and you can go up to the next deck there. So here's like a tennis court basketball court here. I know the boys will probably be playing some games. And now we're at the back of the ship, so back of the ship here. So this goes down to the garden buffet, the garden cafe as well. And they've got an outdoor area which actually is really nice and I'm better in the evening. Again, a long tour here. Okay, who's gonna win, Alex or Finn? No, 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 no. Oh, someone else in the mix. Go on. Alex goes up. Hey! Oh. Oh. People are still boarding, but luckily because we've got kind of. Did we get oh, early? No. Did we get early boarding? No. Well, we booked it at a good time. Yeah, Alex is the king of cruises. All right, let's go get some food. Food, glorious food. So this is the outside buffet. So they've got like cakes and fruit. Let's go on the inside. Oh, a bought, a bought. So that's the Italian. Oh, the one thing I've been looking forward to is melon. Cake. Cake. Come on, let's get some curries, chicken, hi, <laughs> loads of food. They have literally everything you can imagine. And here you go, it's like ice cream there and desserts. Here we go, right, let's go. Here we go, so we've got grill here and yep. um, they've got Asian curries. Salads here. I'm going quite fast, so I'll try and slow down. They get like Italian, so vegetable paninis. Wow. So roasted meats. And then they've got pasta bar and pizza and bread. 
and soup so they've got literally everything you could ask for and then they've got even more this size they've got a massive massive salad bar here and just like sandwiches if you want something light I know salad bar is massive which is great because when it gets hot you don't want to eat much but for the moment I'm going to get some food. Oh, well, well. Sweaty. <laughs> what have you got? Mm, so here's the gym. Um, Let's do a sneak little peek. We've got some weights in there. Three weights in there both. Oh yeah! Three oh, weights. No. Oh come here. It's really nice. Here is our cabin. Hello guys, so we had some lunch and we've actually just come into the room. So I'm actually going to do a little quick room tour. Uh, the boys have just dumped their stuff and gone. But I'm just going to do a little room tour now um, while I can, but I'm by myself. Um, I've just got changed. I'm going to go to the pool in a moment, so excuse the hat. This is, this is the room we've got, an indoor cabin. So I'll go to the bathroom first to so come into here. Um, got bathroom, we've got toilet, basin, big big um mirror we've got three shelves which is perfect because we are there's three of us i have just put all my toiletries on there on my toothbrush and the shower the shower is actually pretty big this is the same size as it was for me on the norwegian spirit i believe um there's like a little washing line here for like bikinis um and then shower head and enough room for toiletries here it's pretty good size in here actually i mean cabins are always going to be quite small i mean you've got to expect that if you're going on a cruise in an indoor cabin that's why we have paid less for it and there's three of us which has even lowered the price a little bit more um so as i said excuse the mess because the boys have just dumped their stuff um it's so got a tv here you can tell it's a bit of an older ship because it is it's still a flat screen but it's a much older flat screen but i haven't turned it on yet and i've just dumped like my makeup and stuff up there because the boys don't have makeup i've got a double bed here mirror there i've also got the third bed here so me and finn are sharing with one of our friends alex so he'll be happily enough up on there luckily and we didn't know whether there'd be twins or a double but this seems like there's gonna be a double which he has no problem with which is good um i've just pumped up my suitcase there but there is room for one suitcase here underneath here there is for some reason um like i think it's the bedding for the bed so uh, you can't put it under there but i'll go to the storage here area now so you've got a desk here and also a desk there and um, here is where they put the itinerary so this is what's happening today they always put like one of those in every day which is great um hair dryer which actually looks like a decent hair dryer which is perfect because i didn't bring mine and then a bin and seating area here and then you've got three drawers here which again is perfect i put all my underwear and stuff in there you've got glasses and then in here is the mini fridge now of course you have to pay for this um so this is five dollars and these are both six dollars either side we won't be paying for those we will buy um buy our own water because i do believe it is just a bit of a rip off but is what it is and then up here i've got another storage area then you come to the wardrobe excuse us quite a bit of a small space in the corridor got our life jackets here and then you've got actually quite a lot of hangers we've us three they hung a little bit up and actually for three of us it's not too bad i mean unless you have a lot of stuff we are here for two weeks so we did have a fair amount of stuff and then suitcase can fit in there and i've just popped some shoes at the bottom there first come first serve right so you've got a safe here and also another storage area here and then you've got all of these here so this again bedding here and i've just put all my clothes in there and i'll sort that out later but that is the room and it will do you know what on a cruise you don't spend all your time in the same cabin like it's just it, in the cabin it's here to sleep to get changed and enjoy yourself on the rest of the cruise so i'm actually going to go to the pool deck now enjoy myself there tan a little bit go in the pool and have a little bit of fun and enjoy the cruise because <sighs> I've just waited so long for it and I'm very, very excited. This is my other bucket hat, by the way. It matches my bikini. Uh, this is Hollister. So um, I'm going to wear this today. 
yeah, let's go do some sunbathing. Let's go see where they are. Yeah. Oh. Uh, German, you know we have some Germans here too. So we have changed and we've got already, we had an afternoon of just relaxing by the pool um, and just getting used to the ship but we're all ready now for dinner um, we're just gonna go to the buffet for dinner tonight and then I think tomorrow myself and Penn are gonna go for dinner by ourselves to one of the main dining rooms but tonight to the buffet um, all of us are going um, and then probably just enjoy the evening um, but so far so good really nice and relaxed I feel like I am on holiday now come to the whiskey bar and I must say my gin and tonic is like pure gin and how's your whiskey cocktail? My, um, my bourbon whiskey Black blackberry bourbon smash yeah, yeah. it's really nice yeah. Yeah. yeah it's quite strong but it's fine It's actually nearly about 11 o'clock. We had dinner and then we had a drink in the whiskey bar, which is actually really, really nice. The, just the staff here are amazing. Like, so lovely and welcoming and personal. Like, um, one of the women just, she remembered my name, like, for, for the first of having my card and just kept asking, oh, Ellen, do you need anything else? Or, and it was just so, so lovely, but, um, I'm actually going to go head to bed now. Um, I'll go see if there's a towel animal and see what's in my cabin, see if they've turned it down. Um, but yeah, I was just getting really tired because we had such a late night and early morning. I really need a good night's sleep because I'm going to go for a run tomorrow morning. So yeah. I've come the other side of the cabin. It's the other side of the ship. So I've got quite a long way to walk down. <laughs> but what's quite good to know, the way the fish are going, is towards the front of the ship that's something i learned and it's a good thing to know <laughs> so on here i did change it to turn down cabin but i don't know if someone's changed it but at the bottom here you can change it so make up welcome do not disturb and turn down cabin so hopefully so they've done it but i've got the itinerary here which is great so i think because they didn't turn down i did as someone obviously changed the do not disturb to the turn up turn down we didn't have that service this evening which is fine absolutely fine obviously someone changed it which is a bit annoying um but everything's clean anyway it's just the third bed that needs kind of making up so i'm just gonna get the duvet out for alex but i'm gonna get ready for bed and i'm gonna end the vlog here um i'm just gonna have a little look at tomorrow's itinerary um see what's happening um have a kind of wind down for bed and um yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this vlog I am trying to vlog a bit more content and show you what the cruise is really, really like. Last time I did it, I just didn't show things like my food, what I'm eating, drinking, the entertainment. So I hope this has been helpful for a lot of people who are going on the, on the Norwegian gem. And um, make sure you watch the rest of these series to make sure you keep up to date about how I've my experience has been throughout these like these next sort of two weeks. I think it's around ten days. Um, or maybe it's I think it's eleven nights, twelve days um but yeah just make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy it comment down below if it's been helpful for you and if you're going on a cruise soon and uh, subscribe to make sure you keep updated night guys